to breed healthy offspring, the rhino sent to Zambia must be as diverse as possible. Dave needs DNA samples to identify which ones will go. To do this, he first darts the animal with the tranquilizer. The drug we're using is about 10,000 times more potent than morphine. The smallest drop um, it could be fatal to, to a human being. So when I'm working, I have to be pretty careful about how I handle the syringe and the needle. The ground crew spot their target hiding in the bush. I'm going to guide the helicopter in now. Fjera, Fjera, come and forgotten. Okay, visual right. She's giving us an indication, so we got it. Darting from the air takes great skill. Dave uses a special needle. A black rhino's skin is extremely tough to protect it from predators. It can be up to 25 millimeters thick. An ordinary hollow injection needle will clog up with skin, so Dave uses an ingenious dart. It has a solid tip and two holes on either side to release the tranquilizer under the skin. His best chance of success is if the dart hits the skin surface at 90 degrees, so he gets maximum muscle penetration. If all goes well, the drug should take effect in less than five minutes. Dave spots his target. Got it visual, you can just tell her we got it visual. Okay, we got it visual. Thanks, Baron. I'll talk to you later. Excellent. They've got the rhino in visual. The minute the dart's in, they'll let me know, and then they'll try and guide us to where the rhino's once it's gone down. Okay, let's get him in a little bit of a better area. Dave does a first aid check to make sure the rhino is okay. Quick look at the respiration. Nice. Even breathing. Looking good. 